The Charleston Fire Department is aiming to teach kids about fire safety, and they're doing so in a unique and creative way. 13 News reporter Aaron Noon joins us now live from station number two on the west side with the details. Aaron, what do you got going on over there? Lily and Andy, a very good afternoon to you both. I am here at this new inflatable house, fire safety house from the Charleston Fire Department, and we're going to take a look inside. This is all geared at teaching kids about fire safety. Now, Lieutenant Alfred is going to help me get in here. Thank you so much. All right, now it is a little foggy in here. That's because they try to make this like a simulation, so they have some fog going on here, and they have a kitchen teaching you not to leave stuff like oven mitts or towels on burners keep everything away and they keep uh information about smoke alarms as well as space heaters but again this is very uncomfortable they keep this smoke in here to make sure kids can get out in a safe way now come with me we're going to come to the living room area of the fire safety house where they teach you about candles and how to not leave them unattended as you can see they have smoke alarms up here as well as space heaters down here just to show you the importance of not leaving these things unattended now this is probably the most important part know your escape so they're teaching kids that if in case of an emergency, you can actually leave through this window right here. There's a little ramp that lets them come outside and get to the ground safety. But the officials that I spoke with say it's just so important now with an uptick in fires in the city for kids to learn about this. And there's no better way to do it than with a bounce house. Uh, the kids like bounce houses, so they uh, even the big kids like to go. Everyone sees it. They have to come in and look through it and see what all the the pictures that we have in there and what actually takes place, and go through and look at it, and then they can jump out a window here at the end and uh, roll off and jump out of the house. The Bob Burdett Center summer class was the first group to try out the new house, as you could see them playing in the video. Now, leaders here say they plan to take this house to several events throughout the city, like Live on the Levee, the Regatta next year, and just many other community events to teach kids about fire safety. We'll have much more of this story later on tonight on 13 News. For now, live in Charleston, I'm Erin Noon. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.